My name is Yolandi Kupis and I'm from New Age Africa and I'm from a little town called Bloemfontein. And it's so amazing to sit tonight on the Zoom and see everybody's faces. And, you know, uh, Tammy, I don't know if you feel the same, but you get to know people on, on the Zoom and, you know, you speak and, and work with them on a daily basis and it becomes like family. And, I mean, it's going to be phenomenal the day when we actually do get the opportunity to sit around yes. a fire or to sit with a glass of champagne and just celebrate life together. With, with that said, I, I just want to say thank you very much for your time, for everyone that is on the Zoom tonight and for everyone that's opening their, you know, their hearts to listen to what we've got to offer and our story. And I want to start with that, you know, I got introduced with, with New Age just about eight months ago, and I was one of those people that was not interested in network marketing, and I also believed that I wouldn't be able to do it. And um, it was just something that was never appealing to me. And one of my very good friends got involved with, with Oryx, which merged with, with New Age at the moment. And she was so excited about this venture. And, you know, that made me intrigued to do my research about this business. And I soon realized that, I, you know, this is an opportunity that I wanted to grab with both hands because not just the financial spin-off that this opportunity can give you, but also the connection that you can make with people out there. And look, tonight we've got a connection with business partners all over the world, and it's amazing. We are sitting here, we are like-minded, we are business people, we are entrepreneurs, and we want to make a huge success of this. And you will. Whatever you believe, whatever, whatever journey you're on in life, if you believe that you can achieve it, you will. And this is, this is like any other business. If you're not going to work in your business, this is not going to work for you. So that's me in short, Yolandi Kupis, and I want to give uh, the, the time over to one of my my biggest, I'm, I'm, I'm one of her biggest fans, if you put it that way. She's beautiful, she's blonde, she's a bombshell. She's one of my friends, she's one of my business partners, and did I tell you she is a boss lady of note. Tammy Malpi, Malkizadek, it's an honor to introduce you tonight to everyone on here. Um, this, the, the screen is all yours, my friend. Thank you, Yolandi. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll take it. I'll take every compliment you got. I turned 60 this year. <laughs> so I'll take it all. Let me tell you, it's a wonderful thing. Well, welcome, everyone. I am not the star of this show. I can absolutely guarantee you that. I just jumped into the opportunity seven months ago, um, and I just saw and desired for a different way, for a better way. And if you are here tonight and you are looking and considering a better way, we believe we have something inside this business that offers you how whatever you're looking for, better health, uh, better health transformation, a financial transformation. Perhaps you are looking for more time freedom. Maybe you are looking for a legacy business, something to uh, share with your children and the generations that continue. Perhaps it's Africa the people of Africa that you love and you care about, and you know that they are looking for an opportunity. Well, you are on the ground level of a debt-free and profitable company, uh, nine years old, over 600 million coming into Africa. Within the next couple of weeks, we are launching into Africa. We've been working on this, folks, for almost a year. And we have been building and preparing and preparing and building a solid foundation so that you can springboard your business from something that is rock solid. And that is New Age uh, Africa. 
So that is really enough about me. I really want to introduce you to our guests today. Um, I had a transformation. I do want to say I jumped into this business because I was looking to run a home-based business, actually a phone-based business. I was working full-time. I had been in publishing, publishing and media, had some success in that. But we had experienced a great financial loss, and we were looking for something that we could do part-time in the pockets of our lives. In between, I have four adult children, I have seven grandsons, I have a busy life, but I wanted to increase um, my independence and have more time freedom. And this opportunity granted me that. But through this opportunity, we've met the most amazing people. And that is one thing Yolandi said that I want you to keep tucked back in the little resources of your mind that perhaps you're actually looking for a really life-giving community of people to run a business with. Um, I know a lot of people that have traditional business and they are the, they're the dog pony show. They're everything. <laughs> and they run that whole thing by themselves all day long. And they don't have people that they can link arms with and know that they're going to find success because they do it together. Well, this business is very different because it's it's one team, one dream. We do it together and we link arms together and we resource one another and we encourage one another. It is one of the most life-giving, encouraging platforms and businesses you will ever discover. I absolutely guarantee you. And I think everyone on this Zoom, if they've been in this business more than a New York minute, they will tell you the exact same thing. Well, one of those things or one of those benefits are all the relationships that you create. And one of those incredible relationships that I had the privilege of being introduced to was Dr. Crystal Vance. Dr. Crystal Vance is a, an amazing woman. If you heard her before, she will inspire you to the top, let me tell you. Um, she has a transformation story that'll blow your doors off when you hear it. It's almost too big, it's almost such a big story. It's like, can you contain it? But she is a she was a practicing uh, doctor for several years, over 20 years, very thriving practice, um, changing and transforming uh, people's lives through health, nutrition, feeling better, more energy, all the things that most, most of us are looking for. Um, and yet she herself was looking for a transformation and she didn't know where to go to find it. Isn't that interesting? You can have all the training in the world, but if you don't have access to the tools to get you there, it doesn't help you. And we believe we have those tools. And so she applied those tools to her life and boy, Oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> did she have a transformation. So I would like to introduce you to Dr. Crystal Vance. Um, she is in my organization. We are business partners uh, with each other. She is also on the Wellness Council here inside of New Age Rx. She is an expert on our products. She is an expert in health. She is an expert in nutrition, but she is also an expert in the business. And she has built a huge organization all over the world through this opportunity, this phone-based, home-based opportunity. Dr. Crystal, are you with us? I am. Hello, hello. <laughs> Yay. I, I love seeing all your faces, Yolanda. You're so dang beautiful. I just love <laughs> your energy and I love all of the South African people. I, I posted on my own Facebook page that I find I kind of felt guilty because I'm totally coming here because I just love to be in all of your all's energy because it's such a passionate vibe. Anytime we come in here, I'm just like, so much fun to be with all of you. And um, so I'm feeling, but yeah, I want to share my story because I, I think I might give hope to somebody. Um, six years ago, I mean, Tammy is amazing to work with. And, the, and you know that Yolanda, and many of you have got to work with Tammy and she's amazing at what she does. And I didn't know her six years ago. And in fact, I had been for 15 years um, at that time, I had been seeing patients in my office, uh, 40 to 50 patients a day was the goal. That meant I spent like seven minutes with a patient. <laughs> so it was really fast paced. It was very intense. 
And at the end of the day, I didn't really feel like I had a whole lot left. Not, not to not only not give to others, but I didn't really have a whole lot left to give to myself. And I just really didn't feel like I was doing life right. Like I felt like I was messing it up everywhere. Yet there's something always in me. Like since I was a small young girl that I felt like I was going to do something really big. I don't, do you know what I'm talking about? Like, I don't know. Maybe yes. I think yes. everybody feels that <laughs> right. Like, I think every little kid is like, you know, I, I can be the president. I can be an astronaut. Like we were taught to dream and I never, as I got older, let go of that. That dream has always been in my heart. And so I've always been entrepreneurial business. Like I started a babysitting company, um, I like you name it. Like I sold clothes. I, I, th- I was always doing something lemonade stand, you name it. I was always doing something business, business and strategy has always been fun to me. And I was bored in my business yet at the same time, I didn't have any mentorship. And so I didn't feel like I was doing it right. And I wasn't, (laughs) I wasn't doing it right. And I was like, I'm not doing it right. And I'm kind of drowning. Like something has to shift. I'm ready for the next upgrade in business. And I needed it bad. Um, I had more money. I had a ton of money coming in, but it was all going out. (laughs) Anybody been there? Like right. you're making it's how much great. you get to keep, right? Yeah, it's not about how much you make. It is totally about yeah. how much you get to keep. Yeah. And so I was looking for a way to make more. And along comes a friend who's like, you should take a look at this. I think you'd really like it. And I'm like, why would I like it? And she's like, well, one, you can make money, but two, like you could get a health transformation. And I know that's something you've been looking for for a while. And I kind of just sat back and watched. (laughs) That was a mistake. So I encourage you, if there's anything you take from me today, do not sit back and watch until you feel it's safe. Like there's nothing smart about putting your toe in something, okay? So that's one little key thing I'm gonna say, don't tiptoe into this. Then then what ended up happening is it really was for real. And I saw my friend having success and I was like, she's not gonna do this without me. Your friends are gonna have success in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Uh, I cannot even explain to you the, the magnitude of what is getting ready to happen in days, weeks in this area. And it's being used as a template for all global South Africa leading the way. And you can have an opportunity to be a part of that. I had an opportunity to be a part of something like this, but nothing what you have your hands on. Mm-hmm. And what in a short amount of time, I replaced a six figure income where I got my time back because, you know, those, those, those hours I was spending, seeing those patients, that's what I didn't have anymore. I lost my freedom of my time because I was giving it all to other people. Well, because of this, because of this business model, I was able to replace income. See, it doesn't take age to retire. It takes money. Mm-hmm. And I changed the, the lane as a health provider that I'm in. And it really doesn't have anything to do with being a health provider. It has to do with being a businesswoman. I can be a business model on a bazillion different levels now than I could be in that small office, in this small state in the middle of the United States now. My business walls are the globe. And along the way, as I was learning how to do this as a business, and there's people here to help you, I started in using the different tools for my own health transformation. And now here I am today, I look a lot different. If you see, if you start to like go on Facebook or Instagram and you see me and you're like, wait, that's not her. Is that her? Is that, wait, she smiles the same, right? Cause I'm 160 pounds lighter 
Oh, um, my word. We just have to stop for a doggone minute. <laughs> I just like back up the truck, girl. You have to say that again. You have lost, since you entered into this experience, how much weight? It's 160 pounds. And I think the conversion over to South Africa is like 83 kilos. Is that the right verbs? Is that the right verbiage? 73? Give a girl 10 extra just for the fun of it, y'all. Come on. Like, totally. That was your like, who wrote that? I always tell people this is five pounds. When I'm talking to people, like we just don't get it. So this would be what, like two, I I don't know. It doesn't matter. You guys, I didn't focus on this though. And my whole life, that's all I ever focused on was that. And what happened when I came here is I focused on becoming more healthy and just anything I purchased on the shelves of new age was going to be certified healthy for me. There wasn't one mistake I could make if I utilized the items that were on the shelves of New Age. And that's all I've done. Anywhere I can incorporate them into my life, I do. And now here I am a couple years later and my life is absolutely transformed. My health is transformed. My bank account is transformed. I live in a totally different state where the sun shines. I have my freedom but I'm the happiest I have ever been. And if that's what you're looking for, if you're wanting a real transformation, you cannot go wrong here. So. Thank you, Crystal, so much. And I want you to hang on because we're going to do a little question and answer here in just a second. And thank you because you are, your story is So I love that your weight loss was a side effect. I love that your health became the focus. And through that, all these other goals came into alignment. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. It's just that the miracle of a perspective change. change. Sometimes the greatest miracle in our life, ladies and gentlemen, is just a change of perspective. Mm -hmm. It's just a new way of seeing something. And we believe that new way of seeing something is new age, a new you for a new day at new age is my motto. I wanna introduce you to another gentleman, Mr. Richard Tuggle. He has a great uh, story as well. And I got to meet Richard through this business as well. And Richard Tuggle is in a completely different organization. He runs a very successful team. Um, And yet his story is so compelling and so fabulous. I asked him if he would be willing to jump on our Zoom today, which he was gracious enough to say yes, because that's what we do. Again, remember, dream team. (laughs) We do it. One team, one dream, and that we are doing this together. And Mr. Richard Tuggle had multiple conventional businesses and he was quite successful but i'm going to let him tell you his story about why he jumped into this business and how it transformed his finances his life and his health richard are you there i'm here Tammy. hi welcome how y'all so doing? <laughs> i how just want to say to, this guy got to excuse my southern <laughs> yeah my little southern talk too you know it's uh you may have a hard time um uh, understanding what I'm saying, but, but you guys over in South Africa, it's, it's mutual. You know, I love to hear y'all talk. That that is awesome. (laughs) True. Tell us your story. Tell us about how did you get started? Why did you get started? What was it that was of interest to you, Richard? Well, you'll have to go about back about six years ago. Um, a lady named Tina Talbert, uh, she was a nurse. She was the head of the nursing department in West Plains, Missouri. She gives me a call. And she's a good friend. So she calls me and said, boy, you really got in fat. She saw me on Facebook. Oh, that's an and, uh, you know, just, word. <laughs> yeah, she said that. And, you know, like a guy would talk to a guy, but I never had a lady tell me, you know, just cut me down like that. And um, I said, yeah, Tina, but I, I tell you what, I, I'm, I'm a workaholic. I can get all my work done. I feel fine. I'm healthy as a horse. I was just fat. So I sort of blew her off, you know, and well, she didn't give up on me. Three years later, she called me back. She said, you know, I've been looking on Facebook again and, and you hadn't lost any weight. 
I said, no, Tina, but but now you are you still on these products? She lost 40 pounds. She looked great. She looked like she was 15, 20 years younger. I mean, yeah. and um, so I knew they were working for her, but she didn't know I needed her to call me this time because um, three years later, I was falling apart. I wasn't just overweight. Everything was going wrong with me. And so this time I ordered uh, the products and now I didn't have, I knew, I knew it was a business because I had been in network marketing before and had made quite a bit of money. But by this time it had been about nine years since I had, and I'd already started six businesses. Wow. And um, so I just didn't have time to do anything else. And, and so I, I got on the products. I told Tina, I would, I would do them. And I lost 60 pounds my first 60 days. Awesome. Now, it, yeah, that's not typical, but I'm sort of extreme on everything. And so I took it serious um, and I stuck with everything it said. Matter of fact, I may have even done a little extra on the drops and things, but um, but I lost 60 pounds my first 60 days. And then I lost another 25 pounds that next 60 days. But you know what got me looking at the money? It was sort of accidental. I'd walk in Walmart and people said, man, what are you doing? And I said, well, I don't know. I'm taking some kind of vitamins. I really didn't know what, I knew nothing about the nutrition world. And I said, well, I want it. So I'd write down their name and number and give it to Tina Talbot, the nurse friend of mine that got me in and she would sign them up, get them the products. And this went on and on. And every time I'd go in church or somewhere, somebody would want it. And, and I woke up one day and, and Chris Dole said, uh, go on your website. You got money in there. You need to, you need to get out. And I didn't know it. And, um, had a little over $1,800 in there wait. And I said, Hey, there's something to this. You know, I'm not even trying to do it. People are asking for it. They want to be healthy. And so he said, go to Salt Lake city with me. And, um, me and Todd Rowland and check out the company. And I did that. Then I went back again. And then I started walking in Walmart on purpose. Um, and then I started going to church every Sunday instead of, you know, every other Sunday, but, uh, people started asking for it. I started, you know, just putting myself out there and then I started working the business. Now I still was working 80 hours a week in my other businesses, but the money came in that, uh, replaced a couple of businesses that I just had for tax write-offs. And, um, so I shut those down and, and now it's been, um, a little over two and a half years. And I've shut down five businesses. The last one I shut down was one I've been in all my life, uh, was a real estate company. I had several agents all over the state of Arkansas. And they, this past December 31st, they had to find new homes. And it's, it's the greatest decision I ever made. Um, you got time freedom. Uh, that's unbelievable. And guys, we have a lot of fun. Uh, we get together every couple months. I know Tammy's having a deal up uh, next month up there in, in Denver and, and um, I went here just two, three, four months ago to her deal, learn a ton of stuff. But you have a lot of fun in this business too. It's not just the money, it's the fun, but the health. Uh, I've got hundreds and hundreds of people that I've actually been able to help with their health. And you know, my wife used to say that I didn't have a caring bone in my body, but uh, after seeing all the people that, that um, has, have gotten their life back like me, you know, it sort of does something to your heart. It softened up, softens up your heart where you, you, you get more pleasure out of helping people uh, than, than you do the money. It's been awesome. Oh, Richard, thank you so much. I love that. So I just have to ask you, so you've kind of now transitioned into this full time and what, what, how much weight have you lost? I'm just curious. Total. I lost a little over a hundred pounds, Tammy. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I was on the drops for, you know, um, for four months and then I got off of them. And then I lost another 17 pounds after that because it's a lifestyle. You know, yes. we don't really have a diet program. It's, it's a lifestyle, yes. a lifestyle yes. that I knew nothing about before I joined up with this company. Mm. And, uh, you know, I think most people um, in the world are just ignorant of, of nutrition. If they knew better, I think they would have, uh, and I think it's our job to, to educate them and show them a way now. I love it, Richard. Thank you so much. And congratulations on all your huge success. Now just running, letting go. I mean, that's a huge thing. 
releasing all your traditional businesses and now having the freedom to completely focus on this business says a lot about the financial business and the angle of how to create income through New Age Rx. And with that, I want to throw it back to Yolandi because Yolandi is, if you know, she wasn't really introduced. So let me introduce her. Uh, she is a very successful businesswoman. And she has many traditional businesses as well. Um, she's a, a brilliant, a, a guru, I would say, in social media um, information and selling and helping people to launch their businesses via social media. And uh, she's also a wife and a mother of two small children. And so she's busy. She is very, very busy. And yet she saw this opportunity and she loved the business aspect of it. And that is what she is doing. She is running a very successful business. So Yolani, let's just take the next couple of minutes and focus a little bit on the business and how people like what they, why don't you share and ask maybe Crystal, uh, either one of them, uh, a couple of the questions in regards to the business itself. Yes, thank you very much, Tammy. Thank you for the introduction. And I just want to say from my side to Richard and Dr. Crystal, it's so awesome to connect with you guys and to listen to your stories. And, you know, it's it's like what Richard said as well, because, you know, you connect through people's stories as well. And you, lish, you listen to what Richard said. And there's a lot of men I speak to and they go, oh, network marketing is not for me, you know, they kind of like, you know, they, they're not sure if they can do it. And then you go and you highlight people that you see as mentors and you go, look at this person, look at that person. They go like, oh my word, these people's exactly like what Richard said. Then at a stage, it, it, then the money doesn't even matter because you are touching people's lives you know and it shows that person that you can be and how you can run your business and it's just truly amazing um Tammy I think I've got a couple of questions that I would like to ask Dr Crystal and Richard together um it's just basic questions for for people that's on this call today that's not part of new age yet and then also for people who is on new age you know who is who just started with new age i mean south africa we're still in the pre-launch so we haven't really started um full steam but there's a lot of us you know that's been part of this business for the past year or eight months and you know we just want to pick your brains and 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 hear from you what you think what the future for Africa will be. So the first question that we've got is how did you guys get started? Well, both of you did explain to us, you know, how your journey started with New Age. And that's that's the thing, you know, I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, opportunity, uh, opportunity not met is an opportunity not taken. So there's so many that passes us by. But like what Richard said, you know, I, he kind of stuck with me where this woman phoned him and said to him straightforward, you know, you just you, you just got a lot of weight you're carrying with being straightforward you fat <laughs> and you know you stand up and then he's changing people's lives without even realizing that because he wasn't being in your face saying you have to use this product and this is the best company he was just doing his walk and people were, were intrigued with that and we've got a woman here in South Africa at Tani Tiani Klopper she lost over 20 kilograms in February. She's on dialysis every, uh, you know, every second day. And this has changed her life. She started with slender eyes and her life has been changed. And with her, people see her and go, what have you done? Yep. What have you done? I want that. Okay, so... For, for both of you, you, Dr. Crystal, who had a practice, and Richard, you who had several businesses, was it, was it difficult for you to start with New Age? Was it difficult for you to, okay, you've taken the first step into buying your business back, starting your business, and then what? Mm -hmm. Dr. I see him pointing. <laughs> um, here this is this is interesting 
how to, okay. When I made that, the decision is the most important part. Mm-hmm. And once I made that decision, I just kept moving. I think a lot of times people make a decision and, and then all of a sudden they try to take in all this information and they stop to Mm -hmm. look and that I did not do. Um, I, I, I made the decision and then it was like, now what do I do? And the minute I asked that they told me, and so I did it and I got results. And then I said, now what do I do? And they told me. And I got results. I never stopped and just looked at it and was like, I wonder what I should do. Why would I ask me? I don't know what the heck I was doing. Like Mm -hmm. that was the whole point. I was coming here for help and guidance and mentorship Mm -hmm. in something I knew nothing about. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I knew that this was a shortcut because I wanted what they wanted, what they had, what they Mm -hmm. had already done. And so I was like, well, if they're willing to put me up on their shoulders and lift me up, then I'm going to take advantage of it. So I think that that was why I had the success I had was because I never sat there and went, oh, I'm, I, I got this. I'm an amazing business person. I looked at them and said, show me a new way to do business because what I'm doing isn't working. And I was teachable. And that I really truly believe is was why I had success that I had. I love that. Richard, you? Well, um, I, when I finally decided that I was going to go for this thing, um, after checking out the company and everything, because I had so much going on that it's, it was hard to shut down because I, I was, I was doing okay with my other businesses, but I, I saw as my other businesses that um, I'd be doing the same thing four, five, 10 years from now, working 80 hours a week and, and getting the same amount of money. You know, I've made, I couldn't make, I couldn't make any more where I'm at, where I live. And, uh, but then, so I, the company just made so much sense to me where they were going uh, and the leadership in the company already, the representatives that was already knew about uh, the uh a lot of the leaders in this company. And so I attached myself to them because they, they were very successful in other companies. And so it was really a no brainer after I sat down and, and uh, studied the company and met the owners and saw where they're going and, and how they took other companies to the top. And now they own this company. <laughs> they, they work for those companies. They came together and, and they own this company and uh, what they're going to do. And, and I, I tell you what, I'm excited to stock. I, I buy stock every week. I'm so excited about the company. Um, whether it goes up or down, I still buy it. Um, so that's, I, I know I'm with the right company and the leadership, uh, the mentorship that you get with this company, all you got to do is look up and there's somebody there that will help. Yes, definitely. I agree. 100%. That's the beauty for me. And uh, Richard, I think that everyone that's on the Zoom tonight that's part of New Age can say that. And uh, Nick Papas has said it the other night as well. Even if you in this business for yourself, you're not by yourself. And that is that is so amazing because everyone is just standing ready to lock arms with you and pull you up with them. Um, thank you very much for sharing that with us. I want I want to get some tricks or, you know, something that you can share with us. So, um, Dr. Crystal, when you started, when when you when you started with a, a New Age, did you go the old school network marketing way? By when they say you have to write down a hundred people, you know. What did you do? What is your strategy? How did your strategy change from, because there's a lot of times, I speak a lot of times with people that they go, I would love to do this, but I know no one. Then my first response will be, how many people, how many friends do you have on Facebook? Then they go 500. So I go, are they spectators? (laughs) 
because you've got 500 friends. You say you know no one. So they're there for a reason. So why don't you use it? I mean, you, you agree with me. But tell us your, what did you do? What was your, how did, what was your trial and error? And how did it become? I mean, you, you're pretty well known in the company. Um, you've built your name quite high. Everybody knows you. But from the beginning to now, what was the yes and no's for you? I came here um, to build a business. And so I, I do know business principles and I do know one thing. And I, I, I know Richard is going to be like, uh, his business head is going to start bobbling here in just a minute. Every business comes down to numbers. And and those numbers never change. And that can bring you peace if you, if, if you accept that. And I knew whether it was patients or people here that I was sharing what this was about, that if I shared it to 10 people, two of them were gonna really hear me and a handful of the others might. And I just didn't get caught up on the handful of others who didn't hear me. And I was looking for the two who did. Okay. And, and so it was like, I'll talk to 10 to find two. And I think others are like, well, I'll talk to whoever I can to find two. Mm -hmm. And that's a different attitude. And, and the other people over here can kind of steal your excitement for it. And so I was just, I knew there'd be people who were lukewarm and were like, I should maybe try that. And, and I, you know, I, I have been wanting to lose some weight. Those are the people, the business people, I wanted to change my life. And I had tried to lose weight to 80 bazillion ways. So this was just going to be a new way to lose weight in my mind. But this was a totally different way to earn income. And that's what I was looking for. So I sold out to the idea of, I will talk to 10 to find two. Yeah. So I just started talking and I felt like it was like a deck of cards. Like, you know, I'll find the ace sooner or later. Queen, 10, <laughs> seven, eight, eight. Yes. <laughs> seven, six, five, ace. Oh, I'm getting good at this. And so I just kept talking to people. And yes. I knew along the way that, I couldn't say the right thing to the wrong person no more than I could say the wrong thing to the right person. I just kept talking. So true. Being yourself. And that's amazing. Yeah. Richard, now for you, what was, what was, how did you start um, with your, with your business? Well, um, I, I knew a little bit about the network marketing game. Like I said, I, I had been in network marketing, um, with the same company uh, with some of our leaders and but it had been several years and you know th things change yeah uh when i first got going uh, i was going to do it the old way that i always had success and i was having some success but it wasn't going as fast i wasn't using the tools that we have today mm -hmm. and um the first time i realized that i'd lost quite a bit of weight and todd Rowland took a picture and at first i was a little um little hesitant about it. He posted on Facebook a before and after picture. And uh, first I said, I don't know if that's seen, you know, and, but then people started call, messaging and stuff like that. And I said, well, look here, this tool, I use this in Facebook in the real estate business. You know, I use this. There's some other tools out there. And I'm, our company on, is on the leading edge of, of tools, guys. Yeah. I mean, we, we are... And, um, but like Dr. Crystal said, you know, we have a sphere of, sphere of influence over a lot of people. And if we're not out um, letting all of them know that what we have, uh, then, then we're not doing them uh, justice. Um, you know, there's, uh, so I, I did a little of both. Um, I started incorporating a little bit of technology in, and I'm still learning more and more of the technology, you know, and I know <laughs> things are es escalating fast. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but I, and I do believe that we are with the right company 
you know, Mark Wilson said we will be the last MLM standing. And it's because of the leadership, it's because of the technology that they are jumping into to just give us all the tools. We have yeah. our personalities that we can go face to face with somebody, um, but to reach the masses of yes. technology is the way to go, I believe. Yes, I agree, I agree. Okay, so with that said, you know, back then, like you said, a lot of people didn't start on social media. Now, if I look um, and I say, okay, Dr. Crystal, you and Richard, what social media platforms do you currently use for your businesses? Um, I use Facebook and I use Instagram, but I'm... Um, I use Facebook because I love Facebook and I just, I try to be me on there and I'm just learning Instagram. And I'm, I mean, I I'm willing to be bad, I guess <laughs> is I'm willing to, I'm willing to suck at something. I'm not sure if I should say that word, but I I'm known for being real. So it's I'm only like, to real, look like an idiot. <laughs> trying to do this and I'll get better at it in time. And so right now it's like, I, I'll just keep moving forward. Just like I said before, and sooner or later, I will get, I'll get, I'll get good. I'm not sure that's proper English anyways, but I'm going to get better. Listen, it's not just you, I promise you, but the people don't know. And we've been, we've been chatting about that. You know, it is quite frightening when you have to do a live and you go like what if I make a mistake you know there's so many people that it's on the net it's there and um Andrea and I she's my upline she's a she's one of my best friends she's a, a business partner and so many other businesses and we had to do a live for new age a couple of months ago and we we work on a daily basis in front of a lot of people and yeah, we had to do a live, we couldn't speak. We were both like, felt like we were gonna vomit. We were shaking, we couldn't speak. And we look at each other and we go like, what's wrong with you? You're like, there's so much pressure on you. I mean, afterwards you go like, you, you know, you just, you have to breathe. And I phoned her on Wednesday and I said to her, you know, you're getting so good at, the, at this live thing that you don't even phone me afterwards anymore to ask me how was it, how did it go? So at a stage, you know, it's like riding a bike. You, yep. you fall off, you get up, you go, nobody knows. Everybody, everybody does it differently. And, you know, you just need to embrace it. You need just need to start. Richard, you, what social media? Well, Facebook, and, and I tell you, I, I sort of, I feel like I might already give Dr. Crystal some royalties or something because I, I send her videos <laughs> um, and messenger on Facebook. So I use her all the time. I appreciate yeah. Dr. Crystal <laughs> and, and, and other leaders. But um, you talk about Facebook Live. I did my first one yesterday. How oh, was it? My knees. I tried to put myself above up here because my knees were shaking so bad. You know, I used to have bad knees. The MOA took care of that, but my pain came back in my knees yesterday. <laughs> Facebook Live. Uh, but uh, no, but I do use uh, Facebook quite a bit, but I use uh, the experts out there. They, they, um, um, and it's, it's paid off big time. I do have an Instagram set up and um, I'm getting TikTok set up and I'm getting, <laughs> Um, I'll, everything that I can, and then once I get it set up, I've got to get somebody to teach me how to use it. Uh, but I, I plan on using all of these also. <laughs> that's awesome. You know, that's the thing. You need to find the platform that you're comfortable with. And that's just, you know, I, I just want to say with this business is that you don't have to know anything because some of us are known to network marketing. Some of us are not. I've, I've, I've been in marketing for 19 years, but I've never done network marketing. And the past eight months has been the biggest transformation ever in my life in a company where you meet so many people that becomes family and and with that said I, I want to know from from both of you what was your 
what was what was your you know I know that you both has lost you've lost a lot of weight but what was the biggest thing that you gained out of new age mm. well when I said I am the happiest I've ever really truly been wow there is something that happened it, I my, my dad used to call it rare air. When you hang out, you can tell I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you, uh, you, you can tell these are not my words. These are definitely my father's. When you hang out with turkeys, you become a turkey. And when you hang out with eagles, you soar. Yes, wow. I love it. And that's oh, what dear. happened here is that oh, this is, is an arena where people who want to be the best of who they are. Like we find our way here. And, um, so true. And when you find your way, you get here and you're like, is this really real? Is there other people who really think the way I think I thought I was alone. Mm. And, and all of a sudden you're like, they're just like me. They, they think different. I'm not by myself anymore. It's more than a tribe. It's that you're in rare air. You're with people who breathe and think and are like you. And it's the happiest, most freeing. No one is asking you to hold their bags. They're not, there's no drama. You're just looking at each other and, and you're going, let's fly. And I'm telling you what, it's so much more fun to do life with people who want to fly and I love my life because of what new age, they gave me freedom to just be me. I love it. It, it, it. It's amazing. Truly amazing. Richard, you? I'm just like Crystal on that. Um, Like-minded people. I mean, it, it's amazing. And health. I mean, um, you know, we're all happy because now we're healthy. A lot of them come from work. A lot of them been healthy all their life. They've been health conscious. But when you came someplace like me, uh, where we're just a meat and tater person, uh, until for 57 years, you just put stuff in your mouth. Um, and then you never knew how good it felt to be healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you, you're full of life. You feel like doing things. I love to go to every RX event, new age event that we have, uh, because mm -hmm. Crystal, Dr. Crystal's there, uh, Tammy's there. People, just like Dr. Crystal said, like-minded people, you rub off on each other and uh, you leave there so energized and it just doesn't last a day or two. It, it lasts months and uh, you come away with so much knowledge, but the health part, if you feel like um, uh, a million bucks, you're gonna live a million bucks. I mean, that, that's true. That's truly amazing. What would you say if, if you had the opportunity to speak to someone in South Africa who's thinking about joining New Age? What would you say to them? Dr. Crystal? Run. Um, get. <laughs> start. I, I mean, like, I wasn't kidding. You all, the South Africa is being used as a template for the rest of the world. And, and so with that being said, pioneering, there are, there is benefits that totally outweigh the negatives of pioneering. Like you guys are going to reap something so amazing. And so this isn't, this isn't your normal, like, I'm not giving you a call to action. Like, okay, you, you need to get, you know, go get the, the largest pack that you can, even though I think you should, so that you can see and taste and try and fall in love with every health tool that this company has to offer, because you'll never regret it at all. Obviously, you can see us physically, the changes that we've had. But I am telling you that where South Africa is going, this is your... This is your opportunity to buy Apple when it was in somebody's garage. Mm -hmm. 
This is your opportunity. You can leave it and be like, eh, this is your Bitcoin 15 years ago. I should have got some. Don't be that guy. This is such a small investment to take something that is going to disrupt the whole world. And it's going to be amazing. And it starts with you people there in South Africa. And I am just sending you all the love I can because we're right behind you. We're following right behind you and we're going to do this all together. So. Awesome. I'm going to sign up again, Dr. Crystal. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Here's my ID number, Yolande. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Andre. <laughs> <Speaking of her. laughs> totally kidding, because we really are one team. And there that's the one thing I love about this is that competitive edge that you're mine and this person, that's not here. Right. Like we're all here to help each other succeed. So sorry, I, I talked over the top of you, Richard. <laughs> no, that's okay. Um, I see in South Africa as having an opportunity that a lot of the other countries didn't have. Mm -hmm. One thing, the stability of the company now that they didn't have a few years ago, the foundation's already been built and, and South Africa can take advantage of that in a mighty way. Um, you know, they've got a plan and they're operating that plan in South Africa. Uh, it's going to benefit from it. And uh, it's, you know, we're pretty, you know, all we talk about over here in the United States is South Africa. I mean, that's all you hear about from, you go to the meetings, you go everywhere. You know, we're not talking, we're talking about South Africa over here. And uh, it's just going to be amazing. Uh, the opportunity for South Africa people is going to be unreal. Um, you know, we, we've had opportunities over here and, and uh, we've jumped on them. Uh, the, the opportunity is going to be so great. It's going to be amazing. Thank you so much, Richard, for sharing that with us. And um, Dr. Crystal Vaughn as well. I just want to say from my side, whoever thought that a girl from a small town in Bloemfontein will ever connect with people all across the world? Isn't this amazing? Yes. <laughs> And doing business with you and sitting here and knowing that I am an international business owner and so are you and we are working towards the same dream and that's just amazing to do life with all of you, you know, and just to, to know that on the way that you can help people and to, to lock arms with them and, and pull themselves up with you. I just want to say thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to share the screen with all three of you. And, and, you know, I've got so much love for this company and so much love for all of you on the Zoom. And I just want to say from my side, you know, if you're thinking about this opportunity, everything is figure outable. Just jump in and, you know, keep moving. Just fly, just fly. And that's me guys, thank you. Thank you everybody for joining us tonight, Yolandi. Thank you for um, leading all that fabulous question and answer. I learned some things too, which I really enjoyed. I think we're always learning. It's a great place to be. So get back with the person that invited you onto this Zoom, get all your questions answered realize that we are coming to South Africa and not only just South Africa, all the countries in South Africa, and we will be coming into Nigeria as well. So there's a spot for everybody at the table. And we are so glad to be able to be sharing this opportunity and this feast and this rare air, as Dr. Crystal said, boy, that's going to stick to me. I'm going to be using love that it. one. I love it. The rare air. So thank you to our, our very special guests tonight. Thank you, both of you, for joining us. And thank you, everyone in Africa. We wish you have a pleasant evening. And we will see you next Thursday uh, for another Opportunity Zoom. Good night, everyone. Thank you for joining thank us. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye for now. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Well done, Yola. Thank you, everyone. Bye. 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 Good night, everyone. Bye. Thank you for joining. Bye, guys. Good night. We Bye. love you all. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye, Thames. Bye-bye. Thank you.